everyone thank you so much for tuning in in this week's video we'll be making this easy tv stand this is an easy build it's a very functional unit anyone can do this so please stick around until the end i'm going to show you also how to make a different unit out of this so it will be a two part series so this video will be the first part so also watch the second part where i'll show you how to make a different unit out of this so please enjoy the build here's a list of the tools and the materials that i use for this build and also remember to buy your legs as well Get pumped up and let's get ready to build. We're going to Lero Merlin to get our supplies for the next DIY project. This is my one-stop shop. Um, so join me on this journey. Cheers. One of the beauties of doing your DIY projects is just sourcing your wood. So I always make sure that I source my wood at an affordable price and I always hand pick my wood cut. So look how beautiful the pine is. The patterns are beautiful. So when it comes to the wood cut, I always ask my home improvement store, Leroy Merlin, to cut the wood for me because I don't have the equipment to do the cutting. And also I have another personal reason guys i'm still not ready to cut my own wood can you believe it but don't worry i'll get there so these things take time so for your tv stand once the wood cuts are done you need two of those which is the 300 millimeter wood cuts and also the bigger cuts which is the 1100 millimeter wood cuts so basically we do the same thing all over again just to make sure that you pre-drill your wood cut the reason we pre-drill is just to make sure that especially with pine it gets it has a tendency of splitting so make sure that you pre-drill your wood cuts and also repeat the process and then do it on the other side so you have to do it like for about four different times so the next phase here is just to put everything together so basically we're just doing a box so we're just gonna do um, put our box together if i can call it that and then just make sure that you put wood glue between the two joints and what i did first was just to clamp down the the first piece this is just going to help me when i'm putting um, working on the other side so that everything must be in a straight line position so the smaller cut is your 300 millimeter wood cut which i'm putting glue on so this is just going to help me reinforce the entire structure uh, with the wood glue so i use my clamps and then this is just going to help me so that things must not move when i'm screwing everything together I use my longer screws here, which is the 50 millimeter screws. You can also get away with uh, 40 millimeters as well. So you just want them to go deep in so that they don't show on the top surface of the um, uh, TV stand. So just push through um, your screws in and just make sure that everything is smooth and it's, it's in a straight line position. Basically, there's no trick here. It's just an easy build. So you just need to do your box and then just do your a formation of a box. There's nothing hectic here. There's nothing complicated. It's just putting everything together in a form of a box. So if you're enjoying my content, please do tell me. I'd really appreciate the feedback that you guys give me. And also, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. So the thing with DIY projects and also house maintenance as well, once you start, you get better with time. So please do start. There's no better time than now to start. Over time, I'm becoming more efficient with my project. So I've decided to just put wood filler while I'm working on the one side so that once everything is dry, I can put and start sanding down everything. So this is the power of efficiency. And yeah, before I forget, the main purpose of putting wood filler is just to cover your uh, the, the holes that you've um, created while putting the screws on. So this is very handy if you don't want your screws to show. But if you're going for an industrial feel, you can leave the screws on and then just for them hanging. So please repeat the same process um, three different times um, and make sure that everything is tight and secure. So basically we're just repeating the first step all over again and just assembling everything, putting on wood glue and making sure that everything is in a straight line position and it's tight and secure. So the screws, the number of screws I use is just three per side. You can even get away with four per side if you want something which is more secure. After the TV unit base is fully done and assembled, so what you need to do is just to do the cosmetic side of things. So the first thing that I did was just to send down uh, my box or my TV unit using my 120 
grease sanding paper so i'm using an electric sander here so you can also use a block of sander or a paper grid um so what i'm saying is that um there's no rule uh, when it comes to sanding you just have to clean up the rough edges and make sure that you go with the flow and make sure that you're safe as well especially when you're working with flying particles and then uh, it becomes very dangerous so when i was filming this um video i was it was raining outside so i decided to just do everything all indoors so make sure that before you paint you just um clean up everything so i decided to just stain my tv unit to a black stain um, it's a very nice smooth stain i love how it turned out it's very nice the thing is the fumes on the stain was just too much for me so i needed to wear a mask while i was doing this process so um the, another thing about diy projects is that please just safety comes first uh, you never compromise on that uh, there's no point in um, compromising on safety just make sure that you're safe at all times so with every DIY project that you see on my channel, please make it your own. Um, you can choose different design, you can choose different colors, different stains, however you want to yours to turn out. So this week I decided to buy custom wheels or is it costas or casters? I'm not sure. Uh, but these are the wheels of the stand that I was aiming for. So I wanted my TV unit to move around. So there's different shapes and forms and how they come out. So pick your one that you are most comfortable with. And also what I did here is just to align my caster wheels um, in the same line position because I wanted my TV unit to just move in one same direction. So therefore all the wheels, wheels were facing the same direction. So please take note of that when you're working on this. So to put the wheels together, I was using my 19 millimeter screws. The reason I used 19 millimeters is because my wood cut, my tabletop will be 21 millimeters. So you always have to go one size down so that your screws must not show on the other side of the wood. When I was putting my caster wheels, I chipped the corners of my TV unit. So which is not a big deal because I was going to cover that up with wood filler. Um, so when you have accidents like this, don't panic. Just, you know, move on and go on. There's no stopping in DIY. If you have attempted this project and you've come this far, be really proud of yourself. This is such a great an achievement. Um, I love how this project turned out. I love the mobility of it. This is a very simple build. This is very functional. The main reason I'm saying functionality is that if it, this is for people who want to maximize their space. And I was very intentional when I was building this, that this is perfect for people who want to maximize their space and then one and people who have limited space as well. So please do try this product project, share this project with your friends and your family. And, um, the promise I made you that I can turn this into another functional multi-purpose unit. I was right. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to turn this TV unit into a shoe rack or a clothes rack or a laundry rack, however you want to call it. So this is a multi-purpose unit. So you will enjoy how this turned out. This is a perfect, perfect gift. You can make it, you can gift it, you can keep it, or you can even sell it as well. So please do try the projects that I share with you weekly and enjoy every single one of the projects. And please also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate your love and your support that you give me weekly. And until next time, see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.